Hey guys, Zwift here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use an Xbox One wireless controller on your uh, mobile device. Um, you can use it on Apple, like iPods, iPhones, you can use it on Android, so Samsung, and even Kindle. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Android because it well it works the same process on the Apple as well, but I'm just going to try and shorten it down. So I'm going to be using it on these two devices. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go onto your Android device, turn it on, and if you have a passcode, enter it in, obviously. You want to go to your settings. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Bluetooth. So, you can see right there. And then you click on Xbox One Wireless Controller, it'll come up right there. And you click on it, and it should connect to it. So now what you have to do is you have to turn on your Xbox One controller. You may have to click on it again if you didn't turn it on the controller in time. And after a few seconds, it should connect if you hold the connection button on the Xbox One controller. And then if it says pending request, you click OK, and you should be ready to go. So if I show you guys, we can navigate our home with our Xbox One controller. So we can, and if you want to play a game, so say we want to play... Uh, how about, uh, if we want to play something like Turbo Dismount, you can see that it loads up. So we can control everything with the controller. So you can move the camera around, you can do everything um, with the controller. And then you can just play your games and do your applications and all that with an Xbox One controller, which is, you know, pretty helpful if you um, if you're a gamer and you want to uh, be able to have an easier experience with your mobile device so now we move on to the one that would be more fit for gaming the Kindle Fire HD 10 this big giant tablet so I'm just going to turn it on and what we're going to do is we're obviously going to go to settings and we're going to go somewhere in here to wireless and then bluetooth you want to turn it on and then hold the connection click pair bluetooth device hold the connection button on your xbox controller then it will come up with some numbers possibly and then it'll say Xbox wireless controller it'll be connected and then just like last time you can control it so if we want to play like earn to die for example that's just an example
and obviously some games are not going to be compatible with the controller. So let's see if I go to garage and then go. Okay, so only some out. Oh. Oh. You can do it. Or you, you use the joystick to control. So if you're a gamer like me, but you want to play some mobile games too, um, this is definitely a good decision <laughs> to make. Um, it's definitely a good thing to do because you can play mobile games without having to use those boring, you know, screen blocking on screen controls. You don't even have to touch your screen for most games. So it is a really good addition to any gamer's um, any gamer's collection of ways they play games. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.